So now we're looking at trapezoids and kites and finding angle measures. So number one, it asks for the measure of angle S right here. Well, looking at this trapezoid, it is isosceles. Um, that means this angle is the same measure as this one, so this must be 63 degrees as well. And then this angle is the same as this one. With a trapezoid, these two angles are supplementary. So we can do 180 minus 63, and we get 117. So measure of angle S is 117 degrees. Okay, number two. It shows us an isosceles trapezoid again. This time it's asking for a measure of angle M. Um, these two are consecutive interior angles with your parallel lines in a transversal, so therefore they're supplementary. So 180 minus 142 gives you 38. So measure angle M is 38 degrees. Number three, now we have a kite. Um, it's asking for the measure of angle D. Remember with a kite, these two angles are the same measure. So that's gonna help us out here. What do we do? Um, what we can do is find the total angle measures for a kite, and we're going to use that equation n minus two times 180. So we can take the number of sides, subtract two times 180, that'll give us the total angle measures of the entire quadrilateral. So four minus two times 180, two, times 180 is 360 degrees. Every quadrilateral will have a total of 360 degrees for their angles. Okay, now with the 360, I'm going to subtract these two angle measures, 36, subtract 70, and I'm left with 254 degrees. This has to be split evenly among those two angles because they are congruent. So now that I have 254 degrees left, I'm going to divide that by two to get each angle. So 254 divided by two is 127. So this is 127 and this one is 127. So measure angle D is 127. Okay, and four. Another kite. This time it's asking for the length of RH. Remember with a kite, the diagonals are perpendicular, perpendicular to each other. So um, we're gonna use Pythagorean theorem to find RH. So 12 squared plus 20 squared equals C squared. Sorry. Wait, I wrote down the wrong number, it's 400. So 144 plus 400 equals c squared. So you get 544 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides. So our answer is square root of 544. Um, we could simplify that. If you plug 544 and take the square root in a calculator, you get 23.32. So that could be in the answer choices. So you're talking about a multiple choice question. What format would that answer be in? It could be in this format, it could be in this format. Another format it could be in is, they could have simplified the square root to look something like this. Four squared to 34. I know a lot of you would have trouble getting to this, um, but if the answer choice was in this format, what you could do is just do 34 square root times four and you'll get the 23.32. So if you got 23.32 and it wasn't in the answer choices and something like this was, just solve it out and see if it equals what you got. Okay, then here, trapezoid, HJKL, TS are the midpoint of the legs. So this is a mid segment here. This is the same length as this, and this here, same length as this. What does it tell us? I'm gonna use a pencil because I'm gonna need to race. HJ is 14. LK is 42. Find the length of TS. This mid segment is an average of these two lengths. 
So the way you'd solve for it is 14 plus 42 divided by 2. And when you solve for that, you get 28. So the answer for the length of TS is 28. Number six. Now they're giving us the print. Okay, eraser. Okay, so 26 is the other way they could ask the problem. It says LK is 19, TS is 15, find HJ. So this time they gave us the length of the mid segment. We need to find the length of the, the base. So for this one, X plus 19 divided by 2 equals 15. And then we can solve for X, which will be this length here. So multiply both sides by 2. X plus 19 equals 30. Subtract 19. X equals 11. So HJ equals 11 units. And that's the two type of problems. Do you want me to go through more examples of those, or you got it? I got it. OK. Um, that's all the types of problems you can get. The only other type is this coordinate geometry, which if you get them, just graph it out, and then you can make that determination based on what it's asking. So um, at this point, you can start your homework, bring a laptop to your desk. If you finish early, work on.